greatest among you must be your servant, and the one who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. You are welcome to the Saints and the Church as we reflect on the readings for the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time Year A. The readings for the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time Year A invite us to reflect on humility, mercy, and the importance of loving our neighbors with genuine compassion. Through the Word of God, we are reminded of the need to follow the path of righteousness, shunning pride and embracing humility as we serve and love others. The first reading from the prophet Malachi addresses the priests, criticizing their empty sacrifices and lack of reverence for God. The priests had forsaken their sacred duties and favored arrogance over humility. God calls the priests to account for their indifference, reminding them of their responsibility to honor and revere his name. The message communicated here is universal and applicable to all of us. We are called to reflect upon our own attitudes and actions towards God. Are we truly humble, modest and sincere in our worship and service, or do we simply go through the motions? It is a reminder to evaluate our intentions ensuring that our actions align with a genuine sense of humility and reverence. From the second reading, St. Paul highlights his own example of humility and sincere love for the Thessalonians. He describes himself and his companion not as authoritarian figures, but as gentle and nurturing, imparting the good news with unwavering devotion. St. Paul stresses the need for humility and selflessness when serving others, which ultimately leads to a deep bond of love between the messenger and the recipient of God's word. St. Paul's words serves as an inspiration for all who aspire to be witnesses of God's love. His example reminds us of the importance of humility as we engage in acts of service and evangelization. In our interaction with others, we are called to mirror Christ's gentleness and nurturing love. By doing so, we can create an environment where the genuine and transformative power of the gospel can flourish. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, Jesus addresses the crowds and his disciples, instructing them about the importance of humility and sincerity, while acknowledging the authority of the Pharisees and scribes, Jesus criticizes their hypocrisy, drawing attention to their desire for recognition and honor. He cautions against following their example and instead encourages his disciples to humbly serve others without seeking personal recognition or titles. The Gospel reading challenges us to examine our motivations and intentions. Are we driven by a desire for recognition and dominance? Or are we sincerely motivated by a selfless love for others? Jesus invites us to imitate his humility and servanthood, for it is true genuine humility that will bear witness to his message and build authentic relationship. In summary, dear people of God, the readings for the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time Year A remind us of the fundamental values of humility, mercy, and love. We are called to evaluate our own actions, ensuring that we live and serve with genuine humility, reverence, and selflessness. By embracing humility and loving mercy, 
we grow closer to God and become effective channels of His transformative love. Let us remember that true greatness lies not in power or prestige, but in humble and selfless service to others.